Blindfolded, throw it down a grip to the periodic table and conduct experiments with whichever element is hit. Uranium! 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 <laughs> Aluminum? That's too common! Not impressive at all! That's not true. <laughs> you want to be impressed? Try the thermite reaction of aluminum. Reminder, this experiment requires professional operation. Imitation is strictly prohibited. The thermite reaction of aluminum mainly requires two reagents, elemental aluminum and iron oxide. Aren't they both common? What's impressive about them? Although they're both common, once you mix them together and insert a magnesium strip for ignition, you'll witness an exhilarating combination that will dazzle you. Huh? Dazzle? Alright, alright, that's really dazzling. That's just one little experiment. Next, we'll fully experience its power. What's this for? The thermite reaction of aluminum releases enormous heat. We're using a steel plate to see if it can be melted through. Melt through a steel plate? Are you kidding me? The temperature has to reach a thousand degrees! Don't rush, the thermite reaction generates extremely stable aluminum oxide, thus releasing tremendous bond energy. The reaction temperature can reach up to 3,000 degrees Celsius. What did you say? 3,000 degrees Celsius. <gasps> so even a steel plate might be easily melted through in the thermite reaction. What's the result? Oh. Are you familiar with this side of aluminum? 